because a lot of times we go and we put all our issues and our problems on our friends and their families and they didn't ask and sign up to be the therapist today. Hey family, what's going on? It's your girl Titan of Awesome. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I talk about social wellness, fashion, lifestyle, career, and entrepreneurship advice. So if any of those things are interesting to you, go ahead and click that subscribe button down below so you can become a part of the family too. And for all my return viewers, hey family, what's going on? Thank you so much for coming back and clicking on another video from your girl. So today we are doing another social work series, guys, and we are talking about how are you doing mentally? Yes. Your girl's checking in on y'all, seeing how y'all doing. We all need somebody to just, every now and then, let us know that things are going to be okay. And someone we can vent to and stuff. So today we're about to have us a little quick, not a low-key therapy session. But, you know, we're going to talk about how we're feeling mentally. And how to recognize what you can do to help yourself when you feel like you're in a distressful situation. Or if you're in denial about how you're doing mentally as well. So if you're interested in hearing all of those things, please give this video a thumbs up and let's get started. I like my lip color today. It's been a long time since I wore a color. You know, but I just wanted to switch it up a little bit. You know, we got the summer coming up. And let me stop playing. Anyways, y'all, so of course, I wanted to just start out with my own professional and personal story when it comes to mental health. First of all, how can I even forget to say this? Happy Mental Health Awareness Month. If you guys did not know, the whole month of May, starting from the 1st to the 31st, mental health is celebrated worldwide. Just different events, different resources, all kinds of stuff are just available to you so you are able to just feel more connected to those who struggle with mental health or if you don't even deal with mental health you work in mental health anything of that sort you can just support people so I know me personally I wanted to discuss it and talk about it of course because of my own personal struggles and also professionally my job title is a qualified mental health professional or whatnot that in itself can be very very stressful you're taking in a lot of people's problems daily um, you're talking about a lot of mental health a lot of times you're trying to help people manage their symptoms and then on top of you know sometimes you are in situations where you're dealing with your own stuff which as you guys know uh, earlier this year I kind of found out I had anxiety to some degree or whatnot and so so that's been really really hard for me to deal with the whatnot but as of lately I'm in a much better space I will not say I'm a hundred percent good but I'm much better than what I was yesterday and that's all that's important if you could just be one percent better than what you were the day before then you're doing something right so anywho now that we've got all that out the way so we're gonna go ahead and break down a little bit of some things that we can do to help ourselves mentally or whatnot so first of all let's talk about the eight dimensions of wellness so the eight dimensions of wellness and if y'all see me looking down i'm looking at my phone because sometimes i can't remember stuff off the top of my head the eight dimensions of wellness include spirituality emotional intellectual physical environmental financial occupational and social so in all those eight categories just sit and think right now where do you feel like on a scale of one to ten are those areas in your life one being the worst ten being the best so let's start there if you find yourself in most of those areas anything lower than a five it might be something that we're gonna have to start looking into because that means that you are not doing well at all you know and that's when we have to go to our next step which is recognizing that there is a problem a lot of times we can be in denial um, about our issues and things that we have going on just because you're functioning on your day-to-day does not mean that you're not dealing with something mentally, nor, and I'm not trying to, you know, offend nobody or whatnot. There has been some functioning people on drugs before, like, and sometimes you would not even know that they're dealing with drugs. The same thing mentally, like, you can skate along and thinking that you're fine just because you're going to work and you're showing up in these different places, but when you start to recognize that like i said in those eight different dimensions you're finding yourself on the lower spectrum as far as how you feel on a daily basis that's when you know that there's a problem so now that you've recognized the problem now it's time to ask for help which is also a hard step because nobody likes to ask for help for the most part people like to try to do things on their own and if they can they'll just wait until things get out of control which i highly 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 
do not recommend doing that because you will bring more issues upon yourself. So when you're asking for help, you can look for different resources such as therapy. I'm always, always, always going to be a huge advocate for therapy. I think that's one of the greatest ways to help you to navigate and get through your issues in life. Um, you can go the medication route or whatnot if your symptoms or anything that you're dealing with is so severe. Sometimes you have to get on medication. Sometimes also you might have to go check yourself into a mental health facility, which that's like a 24 hour place where you're gonna be on watch. You're gonna be around other people that are dealing with some kind of mental health crisis at the time. And you guys just need a little bit more support than the average person on a day to day. And you're oh, most of the time people are not there for long. Maybe I think it's like 10 days at the most, depending on what kind of facility you go to. And also just finding just different ways to just figure out what helps you the best, which brings us to our next point. So finding out different coping skills and different things to help you to manage your problems. So now that you've asked for help, now you gotta do the work yourself too, because just cause you showed up for therapy and you're taking your medication, now you have to implement those in your everyday life. So what are you gonna do to help to change things so we don't keep running into the same problem over again if that means i get up a little bit early in the morning because you got to meditate then that's the route you might have to go on or maybe you have to start working out more whatever it is find out your coping skills which are things that help you to get your mind off of stressful events happening in your life or things that kind of are just negative to you it's anything that's just helping to take your mind off of that journaling all of that good stuff so once you identify and find out what those things are that's when you want to start practicing go get help first professional help and then you want to go the route of start finding those coping skills and different things to manage in between time when you're not able to have those professional helps or whatnot and then eventually hopefully you get to the point where you might not need to get help as much as you once was but the next point is trust in the process now this one is a little little difficult because it's almost like you know you're driving and you see that it's a tunnel at the end but you just don't know how you're gonna get there like you just gotta keep going you gotta keep going sometimes things get bad things get rough things get worse before they get better i will say that but there is always a light at the end of the tunnel and you gotta believe that you can't listen to the negative thoughts and and please don't think you can do this by yourself like you have got to go out and you got to seek help and you got to talk to somebody, even if it's just a close friend or whatever. Like sometimes you just need to get stuff off your chest. But of course, first ask if that person is emotionally available for you to dump on them. Because a lot of times we go and we put all our issues and our problems on our friends and their families and they didn't ask and sign up to be the therapist today i'm just saying so make sure that you do ask people um if they're emotionally available that day like hey like is it okay for me to vent to you right now about something or because sometimes you never know what people's going through they they in their mind they about to lose their shit too and you sitting there coming to them about to dump your crazy stuff and that was like okay now we're about to go crazy but <laughs> But anyways, back to what I was saying. So yeah, it's just trusting the process, understanding that everything is not gonna get fixed overnight and knowing that things are gonna get better. But they're gonna get worse before they get better. I will say that. And the last part of all of this is acceptance, which is the biggest step. And this is where I think I'm kinda at in my journey, is accepting what's going on to me because of the fact that when something's unfamiliar to us, we just don't want to believe that it's you know happening we're just like nah this this isn't my life or this ain't me like we try to run away from stuff which that's going to create an even more bigger problem because now you're in denial so this is one of the like i said biggest steps out of all of these is accepting what's going on with you but understanding that things are going to get better you know you have to understand that and i'm praying for all of you guys i'm hoping that you know this month brings you guys peace that you are able to seek out help if you need to i'm your virtual sister um if you guys ever need to vent or just anything of that sort like i'm, I'm definitely here in the comments all that good stuff and whatnot and just just don't forget to love on yourself take a break whatever you're dealing with come back to it when you're ready i promise you it's gonna still be there and don't overwork yourself because now I said a 10, if you're overworking yourself for a company, you will be replaced by tomorrow. Say if something happened to you, like you passed away today, you probably gonna have a replacement tomorrow, sad to say. So don't even overwork yourself for these companies, child. Do what works best for you, take a break. Everything's gonna be okay. Woosa. <sighs> All right, y'all, and that is pretty much it as far as this video. Y'all know I like to leave y'all 
with a question at the end of these on a scale of one to ten today or just and as far as recently where are you at mentally i would love to know in the comments down below one is the worst and ten being my bad y'all y'all know how my memory card be doing but i forgot where i was at but i believe i was just asking you guys to just comment down below on a scale of one to ten where you're at mentally um and yeah let's chat it up in the comments let's see how we doing let's check up on each other let's uplift each other and let's continue to support each other during this month and all the months up ahead again happy mental health awareness month i hope you take time for yourself to love on yourself a little bit more there will be some resources listed down below in the description box if you guys want to check out as far as for therapy and other different uh, great resources that i think you guys can benefit from or even if you want to give it to your clients or whatnot but anywho thank you guys so much for watching and you already know I will see you in my next video. Bye y'all.